Welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I we, I'll be taking you through scale drawing and for this particular lesson, we want to cover something called scale diagrams. So I want to see what scale diagrams are all about and how to solve problems involving scale diagrams. So we have a few questions on the same to help us with practicing on the same. And of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll be having some assignment to help you practice and also to help you check on your understanding of the concept as we are going to discuss during this lesson. So when you talk about a, a scale uh, diagram, basically it's an enlargement of an object. You know, we talk about uh, you have object enlarged. You know, this is more or less the same as you know a map. What you are drawing on paper are uh, compared to what is on the actual ground uh, in terms of figure. Maybe it could be a uh, a football field. You know, being rectangular in shape, and then you want to represent that on a paper. So you see, want to compare what you are what is drawn on the paper, rectangular, and the actual field. You know, the actual football field. So I want to do comparison of the two. You see, that's what we are talking about in this case. So this has, uh, you know, relative changes on the size. For example, look at what is drawn on the paper and what is on the actual ground. What's drawn on the paper, the paper is smaller compared to what's what's on the actual ground. Like in the case of the football field. When you move into the field, the actual field read that the field is much larger compared to what you draw on a paper. You see. So the relationship between these two 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 figures, the, the map and the actual ground, what's on the actual ground, is normally stated in a ratio form. So either in terms of their lengths, like if, if it's rectangular, maybe length and length, width and width, or even area and area. And so we have a few examples to help us with illustrations of the same. So we have a rectangular field uh, measuring 40 meters. You know, this, this could be a football field. So a rectangular field measuring 40 meters by, by 100 meters. Now, the length of the field on the map is, you see now we're talking about the map. So we have... This is, a, this is a map, and then the field could be something of this sort, you see. see so we are saying the map, the length, huh? the length of the field on the map is 5 centimeters. The width it could be something that you do not know. But now the actual field, we have 100 meters long and 40 meters wide, you see now. So from here, you can get a ratio that can help you find, you know, so the ratio here is the ratio used is five centimeter to a hundred meters length compared to the length. So what we have is is five centimeters. So you convert this to centimeters as well by multiplying by one hundred. So that becomes ten thousand centimeters. And then now you can you know you know drop the drop the centimeters so that you have five to five to ten thousand so you can still subdivide this further so that you have one to two to two thousand see that is the that is the ratio so it's stated as a ratio this is the ratio of measurements on the actual fig on the on the map compared to measurements on the on the actual ground you see so this is what you have. So this can as well be written as one over two thousand, you know, one over two thousand, or one to two thousand. That is the representative fraction. Okay. So you can use this to help you find the width. So you say one centimeter. You know, one centimeter represents represents two thousand centimeters on the actual ground what about or now now in this case if you want to so let me use 40 meters on the actual ground you see so one centimeter represents so look at these these ones here how many meters are they so these are 20 20 meters. What about now the 40? 40, 40 meters. This will be represented by what? 
So that will be 40, you multiply by 1, and then you divide by 20, and that will be 2 what? 2 centimeters. So the width here should be 2 centimeters. 2 centimeters. That is the width of the field. The width of the field on the map, 2 centimeters. So the, the, the map, this smaller version of the entire field is 2 by 5. So 2 centimeters by 5. 5 centimeters. We have another one here. A plot of land is in the form of a rectangle, uh, a rectangle and has dimensions 120 meters by that. So draw this on the paper. So I can use appropriate scale. So I will have to find an appropriate scale. So let me just use a scale of 1 centimeter. Maybe 20 so represents what so one centimeter represents 20 meters so it then means that 180 meters on the map should be 180 over 20 centimeters so which is equals to 9 centimeters on the map see this is what I'll be drawing and the 120 meters should represent 120 over what? Over 20 centimeters, which is 6 centimeters. So this is what I'm going to draw. So I'm going to draw a rectangle of length 9 and width 6. This is what we did in one of our previous lessons. So I will mark this is A. And then I will need to measure, I will need to measure 9 centimeters. So 9 centimeters. So I'm using A as the center and a radius of 9. So this is B. And then I will have to draw perpendicular at A. So I draw perpendicular at A. And at B, so I'm trying to draw a perpendicular at A and a perpendicular at B. So we, we've talked about constructing perpendiculars. Through given points. So if you missed out on that, you can possibly check how that is supposed to be done. So you measure six centimeters because the width should be six centimeters. So I'm using A as, as the center and a radius of six centimeters. And again, you use B as the center. So this is where maybe C would be and D would be somewhere here. So just a matter of joining them. So this, this is a representation of, of what is on the actual ground. Length 9 centimeters and width 6 centimeters and the scale I've used is 1 centimeter represents 20 meters. So we have another one here. A rectangle, a rectangular field measures 40 meters by 100 meters. The length of the field on the map is 5. What is the area of the field on the map? So you could still do the same thing. 
you find the width and then you find the area or you just find the scale so scale used we talked about scale in the previous slide scale used in the scale drawing so what you're given is the length so the length is five centimeters represents a hundred meters on the actual ground you see so you divide both sides by five so one centimeter represents what 20 20 meters that is the scale used you know so what about the 40 40 is the width on the actual ground so i want to see what the width is what the width is so what about 40 meters what could it represent what could that represent on the map so that is going to be 40 by 1 divided by 20 which is 2 centimeters so with the with the width on the on the on the map you should be able to find the area now so length is 5 centimeters and the width is 2 centimeters so area should be now length times width and length is 5 width is 2 and that is going to be 10 10 square centimeters tentatively you'd have gotten just the area here the actual area let me use capital a to be length by width which is 4000 square meters then now i use the scale one centimeter represents what represents 20 meters then i square both so if you square both you have one square centimeter represents this also is going to be four 400 square what 400 square meters you square this one as well so that you compare this 400 and the 4000 so what about the 4000 square meters what could it represent so you will talk of 4000 you multiply by 1 over 400 and that will still give you 10 square centimeters so either of the two approaches will still give you the same answer so this is case two yes so that is all we have a few questions to help you practice on what you have learned through the lesson you can always attempt when that can be as possible otherwise that marks the end of our discussion till next time goodbye